Now let's see this problem. Post correspondence problem. In short, we can call it as PSP. Consider two lists such as A and B. A is equal to W1, W2, so on WN. So A list contains a number of strings. Next, B list also contains a number of strings. B is equal to X1, X2, up to so on Xn. So here we have two lists such as A and B, where A and B list contains a collection of strings. Here these two lists are of equal length. So that means if A list contains three strings, then B list should also contain three strings. Suppose if A list contains five strings, then B list should also contain five strings. PCP that means post correspondence problem has a solution. If W1, W2, so on WN is equal to X1, X2, so on Xn. So that means the strings formed by, by concatenating W1, W2, so on WN is equal to the strings formed by concatenating X1, X2, so on Xn for all positive integers i1, i2, so on in. So that means here these are the positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, likewise. So here we have two problems. So let us check whether these two problems has solution or not. Let us see the first problem. Here we have two lists A and B and each list contains three strings, three integers. So one, two, three. So it will contains one triple one. So this is A list, this is B list. So one triple one, one zero triple one, one zero, one zero zero. So now we have to check whether this problem has solution or not, okay? So that means uh, the, string the strings formed by A must be equal to the strings formed by B. So let us, let us see here. So if we, if we observe the strings here, here in A we have one zero, in B here we have zero. So one zero, one zero. So this is, these two are not equal. Why? Because here the strings formed by A must be equal to the string formed by B. But here the first character is different. So we can't take this one. Next here the first character is one. Here the first character is one. So both are same. So we can take this one. Here one zero, here one zero. We can take this one. So here this problem may has multiple solutions. Here our target is we need to find one solution. So let us take the first second one. So two, two. So what is the string here? One zero, one zero, triple one. Next here the string is in B the string is one zero, one zero. So next we have to select a string in the we have to select a string from the B in such a way that it should start from one. Why? Because here what is the third character one? So we have to select the string in such a way that it should start from one. So let us check check, check here. So it can't start with uh, three. We can't take three here. Why? Because here the string is starting with zero. So can we take two? We can't take two also. Why? Because if we take one zero, then we will get one zero. So one 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 zero. These two are not equal. So here the choice is only one. So the next sequence is one. So in A the string is one. In B the string is triple one. In B the string is triple one. Okay, in B the string is triple one. Here uh, we can take a number more than one also. So we can take the string one more than one also. There is no problem. But we have to cover the, th the, th the three strings. Here we have one, two, three. We have to cover one, two, three. It is our choice. We can repeat a string more than one also. So we can repeat two, three times, five times or four times also. There is no problem. Okay. So let us uh, consider the next one. Here here, here, in the, here, the, what is the character here? One here. So we have to select a string in such a way that it should start from, it should start with B. It should start with one in B string. So if we consider here, here we have triple one, one zero, zero. We can't take zero here. Why? Because if we take zero, then these two are not equal. So we can take either one zero or triple one also. Okay. So it is silent error, error approach. Let us consider one here. 
So one means here three by one, three by one. Uh, next, uh, uh, I'm sorry. So one means what is the string? One is the string. One is the string. Whereas here we have to take three by one, three by one. In B we have three by one, so we have three by one. Uh, so next, uh, we have to consider a string in A, a in A such a way that it should starts with one. It should starts with one. So we can take three here. We can take three here. Why? Because it is start, it is starting with one. So one zero. So in B we have zero. So this is the solution. If you take if you consider the solution one zero three one 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 zero one zero three one 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 zero. So these two are equal. So that is the problem here. PCP has a solution if the strings formed by concatenating the first list is equals to the strings formed by concatenating the second string. So the strings formed by concatenating the first string is this one. The strings formed by concatenating the second one is this one. Okay. So we can say that this problem has a solution. So this is the solution. So here we are repeating one more than once. There is no problem. We can repeat a string more than once also. There is no problem. But we have to consider uh, all the three strings. Okay. Now let us check whether this problem has solution or not. Whether this problem has solution or not. Here we can't take th three. Why? Because in three the first list is the first string is starting with one. Let this is a list. Let this is B list. It is starting with one. Whereas it is starting with zero. So we can't take third one. Likewise, we can't take second one also. Why? Because it is starting with zero. It is starting with one. So we have only one choice. That is one. So we have only one choice. That is one. So what is the A string? One zero. Next, what is B string? One zero one. One zero one. So next, we have to select a string in A such a way that. It should start with one, so we can't take second string. So can we take the first string? Let Let's check here. If you take the first string, then we will get then we will get one zero. Why? Because it is starting with one only. There is no problem. But but here, what is B? B means one zero one. So these two are not equal. Zero one. These two are not equal. So that's why we can't take one here. We can't take one here. So the other choice is three. So we can take three here. One zero one, one zero one. So in B we have zero double one, zero double one. So one zero one zero one zero one one. So these two are equal. Next we have to select a string in A such a way that it should starts with one. So we can take either first or third one. Okay, but we can't take second one. So let us take three. So if we take three, then we will get one zero one. Next zero double one. So previously also here, what is happening? B string contains one more character than the A string. So we we can say that this process will be repeated. This process will be repeated if we continue the process. So we can say that this problem has no solution. If we repeat several times also, we don't get any solution here. So we can say that this problem has a solution. The sequence is two double one three, whereas this problem has no solution. So this is about post correspondence problem.